What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena Fire video and today we are gonna be talking about the upcoming seasonal mechanics in Arena Fire. And most of you probably haven't even heard about this, okay? Uh, turns out Timmy actually uploaded a video in English on the Taiwanese YouTube channel of Arena Fire, uh, which I will be linking by the way in the comments below, so if you want to check that out at your leisure you can do so. Uh, by the way, while I'm going to be talking about the seasonal mechanics and explain everything you need to know about them, we have some very, very exquisite uh, Landor gameplay in the background, okay? That was, it was really clean, okay? Just worth just watching for that as well. Now, back to the topic. Seasonal mechanics are being introduced. Now, what does that mean? It basically means, uh, Timmy said that they want to introduce huge changes that will only last for a single ranked season, okay? So what that's gonna do is it's gonna just um, make the gameplay feel fresh every single season. You will, every, uh, every couple months when the season ends, you will be able to look forward to not only a new ranked season where you can try to push to Master or Conqueror again or Diamond or whatever, for you guys, probably silver, let's be real. Um, I think this time you will be able to get silver, okay boys? I think this season you'll be able to get silver, I believe in you. But uh, yeah, as I'm saying, uh, not only will you be able to look forward to that, but the game will also change very drastically, okay? Now for the first season, this change is very timid, it's, it's a pretty small change, but it is a map change. Uh, I, I believe it is most of the time going to be map changes, maybe they will change buffs, maybe something like that, right? But for this next season, which already started, they, uh, that next huge patch, I already talked about it in my patch rundown, you will have these little vision thingies, okay? And again, uh, you can check out the video in the comments below if you want to check that out, how it looks, but it's basically right between the wall, uh, between your base wall and the jungle, there's a little uh, dot on each side, blue and red side, and if you walk into that little spirit ball, it will actually travel over to your red or blue buff, depending on which side you capture it on, and it will light up the area for a couple seconds, okay? So it's like a ward. It's like a ward if you're familiar with League of Legends or other MOBAs that have wards, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna enable you to just come back into the game much more easily, right? Because you will have that vision in your jungle to play around. The enemies won't be able to trap you as easily. And yeah, it's just gonna make the game much less snowbally, right? And snowballing, of course, means if you're, if the, if you are in a huge lead, you can just keep growing that lead, keep getting more kills, keep pressuring the enemies more because you have so much power in items, in levels, etc., right? And yeah, I, I think that's a good change for the first season. I think it's a good way to test it out. And of course, keep in mind, um, after that season, they will be gone, okay? They will be removed. Maybe they will introduce some other things. Um, I mean, they have to introduce some other things. That's what they said, right? That's the whole plan of this. And yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to these uh, seasonal mechanics there. I think it's a very nice name as well. Sounds pretty cool. Seasonal mechanics, you know? Uh, almost as cool as this um, Elandor gameplay, by the way. 5-0, 4 minutes in. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, boys. I'm just saying. But yeah, um, it's going to be really cool. In that video, not only do they talk about this vision thingy, these wards that they will be introducing, they also talk about the 3v3 map getting changed, okay? I already talked about this in the past, but the 3v3 map is getting a huge overall. And it is basically going to be up to par with the AOV 3.0 look of the 5v5 map, so it's going to look really cool. Um, I'm honestly looking pretty uh, forward to it because I believe the 3v3 map is the second most popular mode. Believe it or not, guys, okay? Of course it makes sense because it is a very casual mode, a very fast mode. You know, I like to play it whenever I only have like 5 minutes time, I start up a 3v3 and... Yeah, it most of the time ends in those five minutes or even faster sometimes, so I really enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? They also talked about some major quality of life improvements to Arena of Hour. They're gonna make everything much more um, easier to see, you know? I already talked about it in my big patch rundown, in that last uh, one hour patch rundown we did. 
I, I wasn't just talking about anime for an hour, don't you worry, it was actually that long that we needed an hour to discuss everything. And yeah, um, there's a lot of these quality of life improvements, you will much more easily see where you're getting gold from, you will much more easily see who has Blade of Eternity, Death Sickle, all of that stuff, Team Ultimate, stuff like that. You will, you will have much more visual clarity on a lot of abilities as well, uh, see what their AoEs are and stuff like that, okay? So they're improving, they're really trying hard to improve the game, which they need to. Let me be honest, they need to, man. This, they're sometimes clouding it a little bit. Um, but yeah, honestly, back to the seasonal mechanics, I think the, there is a lot of potential with this, okay? Because this is some little trivia, um, a little homage to Honor of Kings, um, which is, of course, the Chinese equivalent of Arena of Valor, the original Arena of Valor, so to speak. Arena of Valor is, of course, the westernized, westernized version of it. And... In Honor of Kings, they do the exact same thing. Every single ranked season, they don't do huge patches. They actually don't do any patches at all. Maybe some small hotfixes, just like Arena of Valor adopted lately. And every single ranked season, they have a huge patch. And Arena of Valor is doing the same for the last three seasons, I believe. But in Honor of Kings, they also have map changes every single patch, I feel like. They introduce small little minions in the river. Uh, jungle minions, so something like the Rift Scuttler from uh, League of Legends or something like that little glowy green thing that gives you full HP and mana because it gives you so much health and mana region, AoE too, in Mobile Legends. Ridiculous, right? It completely defeats any trading in mid lane or whatever. What let's, not, let's not clown on Mobile Legends too much. But um, yeah, something like that we might see in Arena of Valor as well. I would honestly, it would honestly make sense. Honor of Kings got it. Um, it would only make sense that we would get something like that as well. In Honor of Kings, it changed the jungle meta so much. The junglers fight uh, around these things now. They fight for these things because they give you so much XP. The little minions next to the mid lane. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, they also changed the map uh, a lot of times. Like I think two patches ago, they changed the map. Now you can literally move. Like you can go to proxy in side lanes, you can go to proxy, you can walk through the lane because the tower is shifted so it doesn't have enough range to hit you. You can just walk through the enemy's lane, like you can literally walk right next to the tower to the minion wave so it enables you to uh, proxy much safer, much more often and they honestly are doing a great job with these seasonal mechanics in Honor of Kings. So we might see a lot of these just uh, port it straight into Arena of Valor, just like we most of the time see with these changes, uh, like the Ryoma change, stuff like that, right? The double dash on Ryoma, and the Tulan change, where his ult doesn't have to kill somebody to, um, uh, to get reset, right? And yeah, honestly, it is looking up, uh, it is looking like a bright future for Arena of Valor once again. We'll see if it's gonna be enough to defeat the big, the big uh, elephant in the room, Mr. Elefanto, Wild Rift, you know, it's gonna definitely be an uphill battle. Uh, but that is definitely a nice little change there. I mean, it is honestly the same that League of Legends has been doing for years now. They always had these big seasonal changes where they change the whole game every season. But the difference is, in League of Legends, it's a one year, right? The season takes a full year. Here, we only have like two or three month seasons, right? Three months usually. In, in EU, it is a four month season, you already know, because they always push it back, man. They always um, delay the season reset by a full month, because that's, that, it is what it is, man. EU is a clown city, a server. But yeah, honestly, super excited for these seasonal mechanics. I believe EU will get the season reset on the 20th. Um, of this month, so in like 17 days, something like that. So we aren't a month late this time, we're only like three weeks late. <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this explains to you what these seasonal mechanics are going to be in Arena of Valor. It is definitely something to look forward to. I hope they will get creative with these. Of course, as I said, the first season, it will just be these little vision things. It is a nice change. It's gonna change the gameplay a little bit. Especially for heroes like Yena, who like to, or especially like Scott, Yena, whatever, Chi, uh, any Slayer laner, any Assassin who likes to camp these enemy blue buff bushes 
and um, try to hinder, um, try to trap some enemies, try to one-shot them. For them, these uh, vision things are definitely going to nerf them a little bit, going to nerf that playstyle a little bit. But yeah, let me know what you think about these changes. As I said, check out the video in the comments below if you want to check out the full details of it. If you want to see some gameplay of the 3v3 rework as well. It's just a visual rework mostly, so um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys the next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.